Now, it doesn't mean that if you're angry, you know, you should go kill someone, you know, or if you're happy, you should go and spend all your money on a cruise. I'm not saying that. Namaskar, God and Goddesses. One of the biggest mistakes I see, new and even people who's already spiritual, is that they suppress their emotions and they don't understand how this actually ties to them getting their long-term goals and dreams. Understand that when you're suppressing your emotions, it's like keeping a pretty, pretty room. Yes, it looks pretty, it looks clean, but there's a bunch of garbage in the closet, underneath the bed, and even behind the, draw, the dresser. Understanding that when you do this by default, you are actually creating a default for yourself where every time when something comes up in terms of an emotion, not only are you turning off good, emo uh, bad emotions, emotions that you would consider bad, or at least I heard majority of the time, that is considered bad, like sadness, depression, feeling angry, things like this, envious, jealousy. These would be emotions that you may consider bad. But in terms of good emotions, people are suppressing this as well, whether it's being celebratory, whether it's being really happy, whether it's being in, you know, in bliss, due to the people around them also. They may feel like the people around them is not happy enough to vibe on that same happiness. So they end up constricting themselves and making them seem less happy, less celebratory, things like this in order to please and make other people around them feel comfortable because if they were too happy, they just wouldn't be able to relate. Sometimes they might get jealous. Sometimes they might end up feeling envious towards you, whatever the case may be. But it's not the point. The point is you are suppressing your emotions and how this ties to your goals and your decision making is that every time when you make a decision, a lot of times it could be unconscious, meaning that for example, you may have had the same goal for the past three years, but within those three years, you are still in the same place. And you're thinking that maybe next week, maybe next year, maybe 50 years from now, you'll get it. And you're prolonging the results of what you can be producing today just by this default programming, this habit that you basically made. A habit is basically nothing but something that's unconscious, right? Like for example, if it's a habit for you to get coffee every morning, you don't even have to think about it. You just literally go downstairs, you get the coffee, and by the time you start taking your first sip of coffee, you're already in the office. This becomes seamless. Like, and in the next moment, you're already like driving back home. You know, and the only time you get that break through that kind of cycle is when it, the weekend comes, Friday, or maybe sometimes during the day if something else happens. When you are suppressing your emotions, right? your feelings whatever it doesn't matter what it is you need to allow yourself to fully experiencing it because when you are taking these unconscious actions that's not supporting towards your long term where you want to be there are layers to this when you are taking those actions you are unconsciously deciding to stay where you are because you're feeling in a safe place for example if you're never confronting the things that are sub sub uh, sabotaging you sabotaging you you're going to stay in the same place you're never going to feel uncomfortable enough or get uncomfortable enough to end up moving to somewhere higher to evolving yourself right it's like for example when you have a bunch of overweight friends they tend to be with each other you know a lot more right they don't they don't stay around people who are not like them if you have skaters you know they always stay tied around them right you always become six person of the five people you hang around with today when you are suppressing your emotions you're not understanding why you're making those decisions let alone those unconscious decisions you don't even question because you know by that by taking the same actions over and over again you get to stay in your comfortable place if you start confronting the harsh reality in front of you whether it's the way you want to support your family whether it's the kind of family structure you want to have in the future whether it's you know just you traveling around the world like for a living or you wanting to just be nomadic and live 10 years a year and like 20 years there, you know, and just explore different cultures or explore different things, right? Because everyone is so occupied on modern structure that's here is that people are like, yeah, that's great. Like we're the most advanced culture, right? Or civilization and in terms of countries wise, things that we have and all the opportunities we have, something is strange about that, right? Because within that, it's like, we enjoy it but we don't enjoy it i'm programmed to enjoy this rather than i'm enjoying it because i'm actually enjoying it and that comes from the program 
the programming, the default that we set up for ourselves, that we'll never go ahead and look outside of the boundaries as long as we're keeping ourselves comfortable enough, tolerable enough. And then you tend to think about it, where is this coming from? And this is where you sit down with yourself. Don't go out that night if you want. Sit down with yourself and just look inside. No writing, no phone, no nothing. Just that you inside of you is gonna start confronting you. Parents may not do it, your partner may not do it, your friends may not do it, because you don't have that network around yourself yet. But you have that you inside of you that we call our higher selves that would be able to look and speak to you and say the things that that you don't want to hear. Because only that higher self inside of you knows you as good as you. No one else knows you as good as you. So that you inside of you is the one who's able to tell you, I could have done more. I didn't do enough. Telling everybody this, but it's actually like this. If there's always something where you are not basically in a position where you don't even trust yourself. I mean, you act like you trust yourself. You say that you trust yourself. And, and this is varies for different people. There are some people who only experience a tiny bit. It still annoys them because it's a prolonging experience. Or you have those who experience it a lot, like on a daily basis. Like for me, I experienced it a very tiny bit. I've lived in India for many years. I've you know, evolved and awakened myself to a level that I can't come back from but it, it, it can happen, it does happen. And the best thing you can do is quickly, it's almost like having a child locked in a door or a version of you locked in a door. And every time when they want something, they just come and knock. And it's your responsibility to pay attention and see, am I actually going to sit down with myself this time and see what it is, what it is, what is it that it wants to say? Or am I just going to play some video games to keep myself away or go eat? or go watch something, or go on a phone, or go text someone, go out to drink, or get high. I don't know. But it's very important to be aware of what's going on inside of you. I'm saying the source of the decisions you make is from unconscious habits that you have, that you're entertaining and that you cherish. Some of you, you love cherishing it, and it's really hard for you to let go of it because you lie to yourself. Some of you, just experience it naturally and don't really have the will or knowing of how to overcome this, to be able to able to literally say to you yourself, just as smart as you, just as intelligent as you, is go ahead and say no. Trust me, it's more intense than just saying a no to your partner, <laughs> right? If they want something really bad, you know, and you saying no, like how would you feel? Because usually behind that, instead of saying no, you're saying I'm not able to or I can't yet, and you don't want to say that, right? This was just an example though. But anyways, subscribe for more, and we'll continue on this topic.